children welcome to today's lesson of numerical problems on equations of motion in this lesson we are going to solve some numerical problems based on equations of motion before solving the problems let us recall these equations let a body moving with an initial velocity u reach a final velocity v while moving with an acceleration a in time t then equation of motion consisting of velocity time relation is v equal to u plus at now if the same body covers a distance s in time t with a constant acceleration a then the equation of motion consisting of position time relation is s equal to ut plus half at square then velocity displacement relation can be represented by the equation v square minus u square equal to 2 as similarly the displacement covered by the body in nth second is given by the equation s nth is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 vidyarthiyo equations of motion no revise karan to baad aao hun ina te adharit problems no hal karna shuru kariye so aao ajhiya problems ate ona de solutions vekhiye a body travels from a to b at 20 meter per second and from b to a at 30 meter per second calculate the average speed here v1 is equal to 20 meter per second and v2 is equal to 30 meter per second now for finding the average speed you have to use the formula average speed v average is equal to average speed that is v average is equal to 2 into v1 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 on substituting the values of v1 and v2 in the given formula of average velocity we get average speed v average is equal to 2 into 20 into 30 whole divided by 20 plus 30 which is equal to 1200 divided by 50 on simplification we get average speed of the body as v average equal to 24 meter per second let us look at this problem now a car at rest accelerates uniformly to a speed of 162 km per hour in 15 second how much distance is covered by the car here the initial velocity u is equal to 0 m per second final velocity v is equal to 162 km per hour and time t is equal to 15 seconds now we convert kilometer per hour in meter per second by multiplying v with 5 by 18 from where we get final velocity v in meter per second as v equal to 162 into 5 by 18 which is equal to 45 meter per second since the equation of motion consisting of velocity time relation is v equal to u plus at as equation 1 where a is the acceleration attained by the body in time t on substituting the values of v u and t in this equation we get 45 is equal to 0 plus 15a on simplifying we get 
A is equal to 45 by 15, which is equal to 3 meter per second square as equation 2. Since the equation of motion consisting of position time relation is S equal to ut plus half a t square. Let this be equation 3. On substituting the values of u, t and a in equation 3, we get s is equal to 0 into 15 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 15 square. On calculation, we get distance covered by the car as s equal to 337.5 meter. Aau object dwara tay ki te distance no solve karan wali hor problems vekhiye. On a rainy day, two car drivers coming from opposite direction saw each other and they are just 100 meter. Apart, they are traveling at 72 kilometer per hour and 54 km per hour respectively. Both of them simultaneously apply brakes which retard both the cars at a rate of 5 meter per second square. Determine whether they avert the collision or not. Let the initial velocities of the two cars be u1 and u2 and the distance travelled by them before coming to rest be S1 and S2 respectively. Here U1 is equal to 72 km per hour and U2 is equal to 54 km per hour. Now the initial velocities of the two cars in terms of meter per second are obtained by multiplying the initial velocities of the two cars by 5 by 18. Thus, the initial velocities of the two cars in terms of meter per second are u1 is equal to 72 into 5 by 18 which is equal to 20 meter per second and u2 is equal to 54 into 5 by 18 which is equal to 15 meter per second. Since after applying the brake, both cars stop at some distance. Therefore, their final velocities, say V1 and V2 respectively, becomes 0. Thus, V1 is equal to 0 and V2 is equal to 0. Here, retardation of the cars is A1 equal to A2 is equal to minus 5 meter per second square. Now we use the equation of motion consisting of velocity displacement relation for finding the distance at which these cars stop. Since velocity displacement relation is expressed by the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as as equation 1. For the first car substituting the value of v1, u1 and a1 in place of v, u and a respectively, we get 0 square minus 20 square is equal to 2 into minus 5 into s1. Thus, S1 is equal to 400 by 10, which is equal to 40 meter. Now, for the second car, substituting the values of V2, U2 and A2 in place of V, U and A respectively in equation 1, we get 0 square minus 15 square is equal to 2 into minus 5 into S2. Thus, S2 is equal to 225 divided by 10, which is equal to 22.5 meter. Thus, total distance covered by the two cars 
is S1 plus S2 is equal to 40 plus 22.5 which is equal to 62.5 meter. As the distance between the two cars when the brakes were applied is 62.5 meter in which the two cars come to rest. Here this distance is less than 100 meter and hence the collision between two cars will be averted. Ao equation of motion te adharit kuj hor problems no solve kariye jina which object dwara te kiti gai duri no lage samay di garna karni hai. So ao ajayya problems ate una de solutions no vekhiye. A car starts from rest and accelerates uniformly for 10 second to a velocity of 15 meter per second. It then runs at a constant velocity and is finally brought to rest in 75 meter with a constant retardation. The total distance covered by the car is 900 meter. Find the value of acceleration retardation and the total time taken. Here initial velocity u is equal to 0 meter per second. Final velocity v is equal to 15 meter per second and time t is equal to 10 second. For the first part of the motion we use equation of motion consisting of velocity time relation. Since equation of motion consisting of velocity time relation is V is equal to U plus AT as equation 1. On substituting the value of V, U and T in this equation we get 15 is equal to 0 plus 10A. On simplifying we get a is equal to 15 by 10 which is equal to 1.5 meter per second square as equation 2. Since the equation of motion consisting of position time relation is S is equal to ut plus half at square as equation 3. Then for determining the distance covered during the first part of the motion say S1. We substitute the value of u, t and a in this equation and get S1 as equal to 0 into 10 plus 1 by 2 into 1.5 into 10 square. On calculating this we get the distance covered by the car in the first part of the motion as S1 is equal to 75 meter. Let S2 and S3 be the distances covered in the second and the third part of the motion respectively. In the third part of the motion the distance covered by the car is S3 as equal to 75 meter. Since the total distance covered by the car is 900 meter we have S1 plus S2 plus S3 as equal to 900 meter as equation 4 substituting the values of S1 and S3 in this equation we get 75 plus S2 plus 75 equal to 900 meter. On solving we get S2 is equal to 750 meter. Since the distance covered by the car in the second part of the motion with a uniform velocity 15 meters per second. Therefore time taken by the car to cover the second part of the motion is T is equal to 750 by 15 which is equal to 50 seconds. Now for the third part of the motion 
we use the equation of motion consisting of velocity displacement relation for finding the retardation. Since the velocity displacement relation is expressed by the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as as equation 5. So, here initial velocity u is equal to 15 meter per second, final velocity v is equal to 0 meter per second and distance covered s is equal to 75 meter. On substituting the values of v, u and s respectively in this equation, we get 0 square minus 15 square as equal to 2 into a into 75. Thus, a is equal to minus times whole of 225 divided by 150, which is equal to minus 1.5 meter per second square. Let t be the time taken to complete the third part of the motion. Here we have v is equal to 0, u is equal to 15 meter per second and a is equal to minus 1.5 meter per second square. Now for determining the time, we use equation of motion consisting of velocity time relation. Therefore, substitute the values of v, u and a in equation 1. We get 0 is equal to 15 plus minus 1.5 into t. On simplifying, we get t is equal to 15 by 1.5 which is equal to 10 seconds. Hence, the total time taken by the car to cover all the three parts of the motion is t equal to t1 plus t2 plus t3 as equation 6. Here t1 is equal to 10 seconds, t2 is equal to 50 seconds and t3 is equal to 10 seconds. On substituting the values of t1, t2 and t3 in this equation, we get t is equal to 10 plus 50 plus 10 which is equal to 70 seconds. Ao hon equations of motion te based kuj eho jiya problems hal kariye jina which nth second which displacement no gyat karna hai. A body covers 4 meter in third second and 12 meter in fifth second. If the motion is uniformly accelerated, how far will it travel in the next 3 seconds? Here, the distance covered by the body in the third second is S third equal to 4 meters and in fifth second S fifth is equal to 12 meter. Since the distance covered by the body in nth second is given by S nth equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 as equation 1. Since the distance covered by the body in the third second is S third equal to 4 meter, therefore N is equal to 3. The equation becomes 4 equal to U plus A by 2 into whole of 2 into 3 minus 1. On simplification, we get 4 is equal to U plus 5a by 2 as equation 2. Since the distance covered by the body in the fifth second is S fifth equal to 12 meters, therefore n is equal to 5. The first equation becomes 12 is equal to u plus a by 2 into whole 
2 into 5 minus 1. On solving, we get 12 is equal to u plus 9a by 2 as equation 3. Now, subtracting equation 2 from equation 3, we get 12 minus 4 is equal to u plus 9a by 2 minus whole of u plus 5a by 2. Solving this, we get 8 is equal to twice a. Dividing both sides by 2, we get the acceleration a is equal to 4 meter per second square. Now, substituting the value of a in equation 2, we get 4 is equal to u plus 5 into 4 by 2. Solving this, we have u is equal to minus 6 meter per second square. The distance travelled in the next 3 seconds can be obtained by subtracting the distance travelled in 5 seconds from the distance travelled in 8 seconds. Mathematically, it can be written in the equation form as S is equal to S8 minus S5 as equation 4 since the distance travelled by the body in time t is s equal to ut plus half a t square as equation 5. Then for determining the distance covered by the body in 8 seconds, substitute u is equal to minus 6 meter per second. t is equal to 8 seconds and a is equal to 4 meter per second square. In equation 5, we get S8 is equal to minus 6 into 8 plus 1 by 2 into 4 into 8 square. On simplifying, we get S8 is equal to minus 48 plus 128 which is equal to 80 meter. Now, for determining the distance covered by the body in 5 seconds. Substitute u is equal to minus 6 meter per second, t is equal to 5 seconds and a is equal to 4 meter per second square in equation 5 and get S5 is equal to minus 6 into 5 plus 1 by 2 into 4 into 5 square. On calculation, we get S5 is equal to minus 30 plus 50 which is equal to 20 meter. Now, substituting the values of S8 and S5 in equation 4, we get S is equal to 80 minus 20, which is equal to 60 meter. Hence, the distance covered by the body in the next 3 seconds is 60 meter. Hon equations of motion te adharit o problems hal karange jina which velocity no calculate karna hai. A car has initial velocity of 54 km per hour. It is accelerated at 4 meter per second square. Calculate the final velocity and the distance covered after 10 seconds. Here initial velocity u is equal to 54 km per hour. Acceleration a is equal to 4 meter per second square and time t is equal to 10 seconds. The initial velocity u of the car in terms of meter per second is u is equal to 54 into 5 by 18 which is equal to 15 meter per second. Since the distance covered by the car moving with the initial velocity u and acceleration a in time t is s equal to ut plus half a t square as equation 1. Now, for determining the distance covered by the car, substitute the values of u 
t and a in equation 1 and get s is equal to 15 into 10 plus 1 by 2 into 15 into 10 square. On calculation, we get distance covered by the car s is equal to 900 meter. Vidyarthiyo, equations of motion te adharit mathematical problems. Tusi jinniya zyada solve karoge, unna hi ina no sikhonge. Hun asi aaj de paat te ant te paunch gaye haan. Hun to aade lai ek exercise ditti gai hai. Ina no solve karke apna answer ditte answer naal match karna. The first question is, a body is moving with uniform acceleration of 10 meter per second square. If it starts from rest, calculate its displacement after 5 seconds. The answer is 125 meter. The next question is, brakes are applied to a car traveling at 30 meter per second. Its velocity is reduced to 20 meter per second in 5 seconds. Calculate the retardation produced by the brakes. Also, calculate the distance covered in those 5 seconds. The answers are, the retardation produced by the brakes is 2 meter per second square and the distance covered in those 5 seconds is 125 meter. Let's see the next question. A body starts from rest and acquires a velocity of 12 meter per second in 5 seconds. Calculate the acceleration and the distance moved. The answers are, the acceleration produced is 2.4 meter per second square and the distance moved is 30 meter. There is one more question. A car is moving with a velocity of 72 kilometer per hour. Its velocity is reduced to 36 kilometer per hour after covering a distance of 200 meter. Calculate retardation in centimeter per second square. The answer is 75 centimeter per second square. Look at one more question. A body moving with a uniform acceleration travels distances of 24 meter and 64 meter respectively during the first two equal consecutive intervals of time, each of duration 4 seconds. Determine the initial velocity and acceleration of the moving body. The answers are, the initial velocity of the body is 1 meter per second and the acceleration of the moving body is 2.5 meter per second square and the last question of the day is a body travels a distance of 2 meter in 2 second and 2.8 meter in next 4 second what will be the speed of the body at the end of 10th second from the start The answer to this question is 0 0.1 meter per second. I am confident that you will be able to solve all the problems yourself. I hope you enjoyed the lesson as much as I did and must be looking forward to the next class. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.